We think that the way to fix the chair, the way to turn the chair from this into this, we think that by knowing our work better, by knowing the theory better, by being able, you know, by knowing all of our work of our heart, for example, that's going to change the chair. And it probably has in the past. But when you're writing exams that are designed to examine you at professional levels, everything you do, every question, every test is designed to be the chair. Why? Because your professional career, you are always going to be in a position where you are expected to solve problems that other people can't. New problems, unseen problems, new clients, different situations, different applications. You are never going to be in a position where you can go, oh yes, I know, I did that question when I was studying, pull it out and go, there's your answer. You're never going to be in that position. So your exams are simulating the situation where you are presented with a completely unknown situation, completely unknown problem, and you have to sit there and go, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, hold on, let me, let me break it down, let me think about it, let me, yeah. and you have to figure something out. It doesn't mean that you can't create a solution, but that's a skill that takes time to build, and it is not the same as looking at a question and going, oh, I know the answer there. And that's what we want to do. That is what we're working towards because when we're in that situation, then we feel like we're over there. But when we're faced with a problem where we don't know the answer and we have to think about it and figure out and plan it and break it down and work on it, we start feeling like the chair. The secret is to learn how to deal with the chair. I talk about it as sitting in uncertainty. The secret is you've got to learn to sit in uncertainty. You've got to learn how to manage your emotions, the stress, the feelings, and build the skills of sitting in a place where you have to start solving a problem that you don't have the answer to. And that for our personality types, is incredibly uncomfortable. So is your studying difficult? Is that the problem? No, not really. Is it too complicated? No, not really. Is it because you're not smart enough? No, not really. What is the underlying issue? You don't like uncertainty and you don't like not knowing what's going on. And those are the main causes of stress in our studying.